His little kitty was hit. Nobody cares enough to move it. It's not been dead that long. right there. Cats do dangerous shit like cross busy roads like this and get killed all the time. And it's not really the person who hits him their fault. They're supposed to drive off the road and they still might hit the cat anyway, you know? That kitty that y'all just saw get hit, yeah, he moved to the side of the road. It, uh, it got hit on 32 between Gaylord and 131 and it got hit between I don't know 6 and 630 we saw that cat on the way over to my grandma's house to see my brother and then when I saw him on the way back uh, I stopped to show his flush the tenderness that no other human um, would stop to show him and move him out of the way so we wouldn't get smashed even more hit even more and uh he was still soft and um, he wasn't stiff, so he had, it hadn't been that long since he died. One of his eyes had been knocked out and stuff. So I prayed over him, and instead of breaking down crying, I channeled that emotion into doing what soldiers of God in this era are called upon to do, which is I bent the paradigm. Uh, to allow for a spirit of exposure to go find out if he was hit on purpose and to light up the brainwaves of the person if he did hit him on purpose to cause bad stuff to be attracted to him and uh, also to reanimate the spirit of the cat to haunt them, you know, the person that hit him, if he hit him on purpose. Now, it may have just been an unfortunate accident, and if it was, well, the, the person is guilt-free. Uh, but you were required to create that option. It sounds horrible and, uh, you know, evil spiritual, but um, you see nobody else would stop. How many hundreds of cars drove by that kitty while I was at my grandma's and came back through? And everybody was just too important to uh, take a moment. To, you know, it took me a minute and a half, and that was with praying over the kitty and, uh, you know, bending the paradigm a little bit, uh, helping it get revenge if revenge is required, which if the person hit him on purpose, revenge is required. You see, it's just a requirement. And then the person will die and get time looped as that cat getting hit by him and any other victims that, you know, this person has victimized before the person is spiritually executed to not get born in the replay of this timeline um, so he'll never exist to hit that kitty. The kitty does exist. Hello? You know, it really broke my heart that that kitty had to die today. But I'm grateful that I came across it and was able to move him out of the way, out of the road. And, uh, it's just one of those things where it's hard to come across something where something's already been killed and you can't do anything to help it, you know? Except for create afterlife parameters where it can get revenge if revenge is required, right? When I was petting that kitty, that dead kitty, I like put my hand on him to see if he was breathing and stuff after I laid him down on the side of the road. And he had that soft fur, you know, that thick, soft, long fur. And I don't know, it just kind of broke my heart. <laughs> 